So the question is, do excess glycogen stores get turned into fat? The answer is no. Why? Dietary thermogenesis, look it up. That's the reason why all the high-carb, low-fat vegans, the fruit munchers, even the rice munchers, always trim long-term. That's the reason, 1,000%. No exceptions. If you consume more carbohydrates than you can store, your body turns it into dietary thermogenesis. The reality is not many people even come close to reaching their glycogen levels because they simply don't eat enough carbohydrates, they eat too much fat, they don't get enough sleep, and they don't drink enough water, and they're not fit enough for the body to store glycogen as effectively as a fit person. So the reality of people restoring their glycogen every day is very, very slim, and let's say they were organized and could do it, then excess glycogen would get utilized dietary thermogenesis. The body has over 100 trillion cells, they all run exclusively on glucose, so the, the need for carbohydrates in the body is paramount. Nobody runs out of body fat or protein. They run out of carbohydrates. You can run out of carbohydrates in two hours. So if you use your brain a lot, using glucose. If you're having a lot of stress, if you're using a lot of passion, that's all glucose. Look it up. Dietary thermogenesis. Eat as much fucking carbohydrates as you want. Lean, clean, mean, green, plant, carbohydrates. Not the greasy, fatty, meat crap, donuts and ice cream and shit like that. I'm talking clean carbohydrates, I'm talking fruits the best, 100% fruits the best, failing that, rice, quinoa, millet, amaranth, corn, barley, oats, things like that, wild rices, yeah, and potatoes, on and on and on and on and on, whatever ones you prefer is the best for you, because then you're going to get enough carbohydrates, then you'll find it easy to stay away from the junk, the fatty, greasy crap, have enough carbohydrates to live the adventure lifestyle, you'll achieve your ideal body weight over time, might be one month, it might be 10 years, depending on how big you are to start with, depending on how dedicated you are to living the adventure lifestyle, and how dedicated you are to getting the sleep. Last night I went to bed at 8 o'clock, I've just gotten up, it's 8 a.m., 12 hours, solid sleep, eating enough carbohydrates so the body can produce enough serotonin, serotonin, the body can produce enough serotonin from enough carbohydrates, look it up, then it can produce enough melatonin, then you can sleep properly, soundly, long and strong, People with depression are deficient in serotonin. They body, their body cannot produce enough serotonin because they're not consuming enough carbohydrates, period. So when you're taking antidepressants, you're getting a serotonin hit. The body's getting forced to release some serotonin. That's what they... Ever heard of that book, Potatoes vs. Prozac? Read it up. Look it up. Potatoes vs. Prozac. Check it out. High-carb diets, low-fat, vegan, heavy on the fruit. That's where it's at. So... Check it out, do your homework, look up dietary thermogenesis, excess carbohydrates burned, oxidized, adds heat. That's why high carbs are hot. So that's the reality. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, $10,000 reward for anybody who can show me the long-term, high-carb, low-fat, plant-based, fruit eater, or rice muncher, or potato cruncher, whatever, high-carb, low-fat, under 10% of total calories, long-term. If you can show me the fat person, then I'll give you $10,000 via PayPal. That's my offer. That's my deal. I've got the money. You know I have. So send me the details down below. Add your comments down. Send me someone's blog or, or whatever, or email me. You know, send me a PM, show me these people, and you could earn yourself $10,000. That's how confident I am that this lifestyle works, because if it didn't work, I'd be obese. Freely would be obese. Check out these weight loss photos before and after a Freely. Now, there you go. Judge by results, not by theory. The science says dietary thermogenesis. That's the reality. Eat as much carbs as you want. And move your body. Move your body. Because there's a lot of people out there saying, I'm fat, I'm fat. But when you look at their photos, you're like, you're not fat. You're trim, but you're floppy. You're floppy. You've got no tone. You've got no tone. You've got no tone. And they just don't use their body. They, they think their body's like a, a marshmallow just to sit around. You've got to use your body. You're not going to get fat if you don't use your body, but you're going to get floppy. You're going to get floppy. So if you want to be trim and floppy, that's cool. But if you want to be trim and toned, get up and live the adventure lifestyle, dance, play, look after your kids, wrestle with your kids, whatever, walk the dog for once, get out there and, and have some fun.
Don't exercise, but have fun. Live the adventure lifestyle. Help me find someone who's overweight on carbohydrates so I can give them $10,000 and we can put it up on YouTube. Help me, please. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and share this with your friends who have carb phobia. Thanks for watching.